Yo guys, it's Arcade and today I'm gonna show you a foolproof technique on how to make chord progressions and how to never make a bad chord progression again. And yeah, there is no cheating involved. All of the chord progression you will make will be unique and yours, so pay attention. Also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about them later. Now let's get started and let me show you how to do this. So, how to make great chord progressions if you don't know music theory? Well, it's simple. First, let's start with choosing our sound. The best one to choose probably is the piano, for starters. You can use any piano, you can use FL keys, you can use one from Labs, they actually have like a nice soft piano. We can also use one from FL Studio, which you will find in packs, instruments, keyboard, and it's called Close Grand. This one actually sounds pretty good. And a lot of people don't know about this one, but it's there and we're gonna use this one. So first we want to go to Piano Roll by right-clicking, choosing Piano Roll, and this is where we are going to work. So the first thing, and probably the most important thing, is to set it up. So this is how it should look, and if we go here to this arrow, and we go to View, Scale Highlighting, we can actually choose what scale we want to work with. You can also do Automatic, but it can be a little bit confusing for beginners, because the Automatic one can change from time to time. So I recommend just choosing your scale from the get-go. So let's do major and let's go back and choose our key and we can do key of C. You can choose any of these, but C will do for now. So now you can see the piano roll changed and you have some highlighted notes and some darker ones. So the highlighted ones are the ones you can use and the darker ones are the ones you shouldn't be using. Now you might have seen this in other tutorials, but I'm gonna show you how to navigate through this and how to make chords that always go well together. So to start it off, you can just choose any of these highlighted notes, which are the lighter ones. So let's go lower to C5. And let's start with C, then A and F. So these are our bass notes. Now to make a chord, it's really simple. You leave three spaces in between the note and then you put a note on the fourth one and then you leave two spaces between and put a note on the third one and this is a major chord and as you can see if we stay in the right key these will always be on the highlighted notes so let's do it for the next one but this time if you want to leave three spaces as i showed you before and put a note on the fourth one you'll land on the darker key which is not highlighted which means you cannot use it so what happens then is you need to do a minor chord instead, which means you leave two spaces in between and put a note on the third one and then three spaces and put a note on the fourth one. So let me repeat that because it's a little bit confusing. You hear a lot of numbers, but if you want to create a major chord, there will be three spaces and then two spaces. And that's a major chord. And if you want to create a minor chord, there will be two spaces and then three spaces. As you could see, if you don't know whether to create a minor or a major chord, well, the highlighted notes sort of tell you which one it needs to be, because it won't let you to create a minor chord if there needs to be a major chord. So just remember, you cannot use the darker notes, so always land on the highlighted one. So if you would want to create a minor chord here, which is two spaces and then three, this is how it would look. But as you can see, we have it on the darker part of the grid, and it cannot be there, so you need to move this note on the highlighted one, and then we have a major chord, three spaces and two spaces. That being said, sometimes it happens that neither one of those works. So what do you do then? So let's see, if we go to C and then, you know, there is B and it's highlighted so we can use it, right? So we go to B. Now let's create that chord again. So we can see there's a highlighted note here, which is the third one and leaving two spaces, which is good, right? We would think that we can do a minor chord here, but then, you need three spaces and put a note on the fourth one, which is here, but this one is dark, so we cannot use it. And here is how it sounds. So if we do this, we actually are not following the right key. We are not in C major anymore. And if you want to use the highlighted one, you just create a weird chord that doesn't work. So what do you do in this case, if you want to stick to the right key, which you chose, you just don't use this chord because it doesn't fit in the key you are using. So if you end up in a situation where leaving two spaces and then three spaces or three spaces and then two spaces doesn't end up on the highlighted notes, just do not use that chord. It is as simple as that. So just remove it and try another one, like right here. That works. 
So yeah, this is how you do it. It's actually really simple and it never fails. So as I said before, you don't really need music theory for this technique. But if you do want to learn more about music theory and learn how to make chords and melodies, then check out Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is a platform where you can learn a lot of new skills. It can be about video editing, graphic design, marketing, and even music, which is probably what you are the most interested in. So if you want to learn more about music theory, how to play the piano, how to use FL Studio, this would be the right place to go. You have tons of classes by professionals explaining everything in detail. And these are not like short YouTube videos. These are full classes that can take a while to watch, but they do teach you so much more. And right now I would recommend this class by Fernando Arruda, which is about music theory, but instead of explaining it on a piano, he explains it on a MIDI grid. So that is what I recommend. If you are more interested in learning about FL Studio, we can just type in FL Studio in the search bar and you'll have tons of classes about FL Studio for beginners and advanced users. So the first thousand people who click the link below will actually get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. That means you get access to all of these classes for one month for free. So check out the link below. I think it's a great opportunity to just improve your skills. Now let's get back to the video. So let's try a different scale. I'm going to go here, view, scale highlighting, and I'm going to do minor natural. So we have a minor scale now, and we have different nodes that we can use and different ones that we cannot use, but same rules apply. So let's create an actual chord progression here. So I'm going to start with C, then maybe A sharp. Something like this. So I chose my bass notes and now let's fill them out with chords. Starting with C. Once again, two spaces or three spaces, whichever has the highlighted notes. In this case, it's the one with two spaces and the third note. Then this one. As you can see, once you get it, it's really simple. You just fill in the notes. And as you can see here, we have our chord progression ready. All of the notes are on the highlighted grid. We have major and minor chords, depending on which ones were needed in that case. And here is how it sounds. Let's slow it down. Okay, now we have a chord progression that is sort of boring, but it works. You can definitely make a song out of this. Let's make it more spicy, I guess. So the first thing you can do is select all of your bass notes, which are the lowest notes you chose. So hold control and press mouse and hold shift if you want to select multiple ones. And then once they are selected, hold shift and move them one octave lower. One octave means if you're starting with C5, you want to end up on C4. So hold shift, move it. So now we have the bass notes one octave lower, but we also still have them on the same octave as before. And it sounds like this. And I feel like we can even move them lower. So select them again, hold control, arrow down, and we have them two octaves lower. And now we have a nice chord progression with this deep bass in it. Let's work on it some more. If you want to make these chords more exciting, you can add more highlighted notes. Like all of these will work with the chord. So just trial and error here, but always use the highlighted notes, of course. So now we have a sort of a melody going here and you can also add this repeating note, which just plays through the whole thing like this. We can also do some volume variations here, like so. And maybe some more notes. To make this chord more exciting. Of course, you can try different ones, but some of them are not as good as the others. So always preview it. And if you like what you hear, keep it there. If you don't, change it. Let 
it is nice. Okay, I like that. So another thing you can do if you have your chords, you can invert them, which means if some of the chords is like too low or too high, you can take any of these notes you already have placed, like this lower one, and press Control and arrow up to put it octave up. That is an inverted chord. It's still the same chord, but now the notes are in different order. So you can do it with any chord you feel like. Maybe this one is like too high, like the harmonies. So you take the upper note and put it lower. So instead of this, you have this. So it's still the same chord, just different order. So now we have a pretty exciting chord progression here. And it only took us a few minutes to do. So we can do this any number of times, of course. So if I can do it this way, you can do it this way as well. Just follow the rules that I laid out. So let's just end on using this soft piano from Labs, which is really nice. We can even make a melody to it using the highlighted notes. That is how you make chord progressions and never fail. So if you use this technique, I promise it always works. Try it out, let me know if it worked for you, and hopefully you'll make some beautiful chord progressions. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Skillshare, link below, get your one month free trial. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.